Hi there, it's Kathy here from kathyballard.com. I'm a transformation coach with a passion for using tarot to help people gain clarity, tap into the bigger vision of their lives and get back in flow. And today I'm doing a three card poll on what will help us manifest our dreams, desires and aspirations. So these are the three cards I've pulled earlier for today. So I invite you to either choose one of these cards intuitively or because there's so much great guidance from the tarot in, in every card, you could just feel into all of the messages just to see what resonates with you that feels useful. So if you enjoy this video, do please like and subscribe so that you get the latest content. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if anything resonates for you today. Manifesting has become quite a buzzword over the past few years and as a transformation coach is a key part of the work that I do with clients. Manifesting refers to the process of intentionally creating and attracting the things that you want into your life and it's based on the concept backed up by quantum physics and neuroscience that your thoughts, emotions and beliefs can influence your reality that you experience. There are various manifestation techniques, but they usually involve visualizing your desired outcome, setting clear intentions and taking inspired action towards your goals. But if you think that's all that you have to do, then there's a good chance that you'll get very frustrated and may even give up because there are a myriad ways that we self-sabotage and block ourselves from receiving what we want. And that isn't often clear. Self-doubt and feeling powerless, those are really common things to experience along the way plus the opposite of what you want usually seems to show up instead and there are reasons for that so it's easy to find yourself on a negative spiral feeling lost or confused and just unsure about what you're doing wrong to successfully manifest what you want you have to maintain a positive mindset and maybe practice embodying gratitude or doing some of the kind of um, practices that keep your vibration high, that help you to release any limiting beliefs or resistance to receiving what you want. And then you have to surrender to the time frame that the universe is working with rather than your own and to a degree let go of control. And that bit is usually where all the doubts and frustration come. They do for me anyway. So in other words, you need to do the inner work to get into alignment and become who you need to be in order to believe that you can have what you want. And the tarot is really helpful as a tool for your manifestation journey because you can ask it specific questions related to your desires and your goals and they can help to illuminate your current circumstances by revealing hidden or unconscious influences that are causing you to get in your own way or what which are uh, contributing to the situation in some way. They provide guidance on potential actions or attitudes to embody that can really help you to align your thoughts, emotions and actions with the energy of your desires. And it's been really helpful for almost every one of my clients lately in that they they highlight where you need to pause, to rest, and just to take a step back. This allows the universe to do its thing and to line things up for you so that you can stop pushing or trying so hard and instead start to attract what you're seeking. And that takes so much less effort. And and as well as that, of course, the tarot brings clarity and perspective and it can suggest potential paths to follow, helping you make more informed decisions and to navigate the inevitable challenges that will come up on your manifesting journey. Of course, you do still have to take aligned action, but when you can feel it's aligned, it's so much easier to face any fears and to just do what's necessary. You can check out this video here or here <laughs> on how do I get more aligned for more guidance on that. Manifesting is one of those things that when it works, it feels like magic is pouring into your life from some unseen realm. And it feels amazing. You feel connected to your power and life feels like it's really working for you. You know, you feel it's easy and it's in flow. So I hope some of the guidance that you receive from the cards today helps you with your manifesting process so that you can get close to this experience for yourself and if you want to dive deeper in and would like my support one-to-one -one, then just do please reach out you'll find links in the description 
So without further ado, let's pull the first card or I'll show you the first card. So if you pulled, you chose card number one, this is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant represents tradition and wisdom and spiritual guidance. So in terms of manifesting, if you felt drawn to this card, it might suggest that you could benefit from seeking guidance or knowledge from a mentor, or from a teacher, or just someone who's already walked the path that you want to take, who can offer you valuable insights and wisdom that will help you on your journey. The Hierophant's also about embracing structure and discipline and creating solid foundations for your dreams to flourish. So it might help you to establish a routine that you can stick to, such as like um, a morning or evening visualization practice. So do that before you get up and start your day or when you're about to go to bed or, or go to sleep, because that's when you're in that um undisturbed space part way between sleep and awake that you can really start to influence your unconscious mind this card also might suggest that it would be good for you to set some really clear goals or intentions and just to create an action plan alongside your visualization process um, alongside your visualization practice that will help you to stay committed to your vision and to work through the inner resistance to growth and change that will come up because that's just part of the manifesting process. Uh, another aspect highlighted by the Hierophant is the importance of connecting with a community or with like-minded people. So connect with groups or individuals or uh, groups online or, or in person. Uh, who share your aspirations and your interests and goals because that can provide you with support and inspiration and valuable networking opportunities to really help you to stay focused and on track. And while the Hierophant encourages you to honour tradition, it's also important to embrace your own unique approach. So look to find a balance between operating through perhaps a, an existing framework of wisdom or practice and your own intuition that will lead you to innovate and put your own mark on something. Lastly, the Hierophant is a reminder to stay open and receptive to spiritual guidance because he has a direct connection to God, source, spirit, whatever you want to call it. So get into a practice that nourishes your soul whether that's through meditation or prayer or channeling or journaling or any other form of spiritual connection that resonates with you. This will help you to tap into your inner wisdom and your higher self and to manifest your dreams from a place of authenticity and from highest alignment. So that's card number one. Card number two. Oops. <laughs> card number two is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is all about practicality and abundance, and she has a very nurturing energy. She's very grounded, and like the Hierophant, she also suggests that having a plan will support you to manifest your dreams and desires. And it's important to be organized and efficient as you do that so that you can bring your dreams to life. Nurturing yourself and your aspirations is also key. So take care of your physical, your emotional, your mental, your and your spiritual well-being. And surround yourself with positive and supportive people who uplift and inspire you. And create a nurturing environment that fosters your growth and success. You might like to do your own rituals that help you to uh, reconnect with and give energy to what you're wanting to manifest, uh, as well as embody the energy that you need to be to call those desires in, which further activates the law of attraction. The Queen of Pentacles is a reminder that abundance isn't just about material wealth. It's about feeling grateful for all your blessings, big and small, and appreciating the abundance that already exists in your life. By consciously cultivating an attitude of abundance, you'll naturally attract more of it into your life. Lastly, if you were drawn to this card, the middle card, then it could really help your manifestation process by doing what you can to stay grounded and in your body. 
practices like yoga, tai chi, dance, breath work, cold water dipping or swimming, uh, ceramics, tantric practice, or anything else that awakens your sensuality and puts you in the present moment, that can really help. And of course, connecting to nature is a powerful thing to do at any time. So spend time outdoors, take a walk in the park, do some gardening, or just simply sit under a tree. Nature has a way of rejuvenating your spirit and providing clarity and inspiration that will support your manifesting practice. And the last card is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles brings a message of growth and new beginnings. And like the queen from the same suit, he also suggests adopting a practical and a grounded approach to making your dreams a reality by setting clear goals and developing a solid plan and breaking down what you need to do into smaller actionable steps so that you can work on those one at a time. Patience and persistence are key here, and it's definitely worth remembering that success rarely comes overnight. So stay focused and be diligent, be consistent in taking action, and stay committed to your path, even if the results are not immediate. And believe in yourself, because you are an infinite being. You are powerful, you are creative, and you are connected to all that is, and you've got this. So don't let the small self talk you out of your dreams. Finally, like the Hierophant's guidance, Paige encourages you to seek guidance and support from others who share your dreams and aspirations. Collaborating with like-minded people can really provide you with valuable insights and propel you further towards the success that you're looking for. So I hope you were able to take away some positive messages and guidance to help you on your manifesting journey. Again, if you'd like my support to get back into alignment, to find clarity, raise your vibration, and just start to manifest more of what you want in your life, then you'll find links below on ways that you can work with me. And if you like working with tarot and oracle cards yourself, don't forget to grab my handy guide to asking powerful questions, which you can use with tarot, oracle cards and journal prompts. And you'll find that also in the description. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.